Today we are going to a very interesting brunch. It's about 10.45 in the morning right now and we are heading to meet some friends and go to a very famous restaurant in the city we live in, Jai. And supposedly this is one of the best chefs in all of Jai. He's gonna cook us a seafood feast, all Taiwanese traditional style. And I think we're having something like nine dishes. Not sure exactly everything we're gonna be eating, but I'm pretty excited to try it out. So this is a really fancy place, and so far this morning, if you know me, I'm not very good, I'm not a morning person, you could say. And I was kind of rushing out the door trying to shave, and I dropped my razor in the toilet, and I didn't have another razor. So hopefully you can't tell I wasn't completely finished shaving. We are at the restaurant Royal Hotel in Jai, and we just have our first dish here. This is the sashimi, the first dish of many today. And I'm gonna try out the piece of tuna here. Big, thick piece of tuna. This looks really delicious, big, meaty, lean piece. Mm. Okay, that is really good. It's really smooth, but it's also kind of got like a lean texture because it's a, not a fattier piece and it's just not fishy at all. It's served nice and cold. This is a good start to the meal. Finishing this bowl of sashimi and everything so far has been really delicious. And the most extravagant thing on this plate is certainly this shrimp. And this is a sweet shrimp. I think I'm just gonna go in with my hands because it looks a little difficult with the chopsticks. Okay, I've disassembled the shrimp and I'm gonna dip him in a little bit of soy sauce and then try him out. All right. Oh, really sweet, really sweet. And you can taste the tamale with the innards of the shrimp. Gives it like a little bit of seafood flavor. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, second dish has arrived and this is a braised sea cucumber. And this is certainly something I've never tried before and I'm excited to try it. So it's served in sort of like a soup. I'm gonna try just the soup broth first by itself. So this is nothing added to it yet. Mm. Mm. That's pretty like plain, not too salty, not too sweet. There's definitely some sort of like a spice, I'm not exactly sure. And I can't taste really the sea cucumber yet, so no like seafoody taste. So I'm gonna add a little bit of vinegar now, I think, and then try the cucumber by itself. Okay, okay I'm going to add a little bit of this red vinegar to the uh, sea cucumber soup. Just a very small amount. Mix it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna try one of the pieces of sea cucumber here. I think this is like the outside, the outer part of the cucumber. So, first time having sea cucumber. Oh wow. That's so soft. That has a really nice texture. Pretty much has very light taste like the broth. And there's a little bit of coriander in there so you can taste that. But wow, it's really like, it's almost like a noodly texture. It kind of just falls apart in your mouth. That's really good. Okay, I'm gonna try one of the more like meatier pieces of the sea cucumber. So here goes. It's really almost like, it's almost like jelly. It kind of just falls apart in your mouth. It's a little more firm than like a jelly. And the vinegar gives it like a nice acidic flavor. And oh, this is just really good. There's onions in here and you can taste those. Yeah, this is delicious. The next dish has arrived and this is called the braised abalone. And it is served with goose web. So that is the part between the goose toes. And I need to eat it quickly while it's still hot. So hopefully I still remember how to use a fork and knife. So I'll get a big piece of the abalone here. Oh yeah, it feels nice and tender. Almost like a steak. Let's see if I can rip a piece of this goose web. Not very good with the fork. Abalone and goose web. Oh, that is very good. The sauce, it's a little sweet and a little salty. It's got like a really deep, deep, almost like herbal flavor. The goose web and the abalone are both braised in the same sauce. But the abalone has like a really nice, firm, chewy, but not too chewy texture. I'm 
wielding both the chopsticks and the fork now, and I'm gonna try a piece of the goose web by itself. A little bone. It's really like gelatinous and not as chewy as the abalone. It's actually really soft and just has that same flavor. This is good. Okay, the next dish is the steamed lobster and looks like some green onions on top, maybe some garlic and ginger and then uh, chili. And this is the whole lobster and it looks really meaty. So I'm gonna go in for a big piece of his tail here. Oh yeah. And it's served on a bed of Maybe noodles, I'll try those after. Oh, that smells so aromatic. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I love lobster, like one of my favorite things. And this is really soft. You can taste the like natural sweetness of the lobster. Taste a little bit of ginger and the green onions. And it almost has like a little bit of a bitter flavor. Not too much though. Getting to the end of this lobster and this is really good. The noodles on the bottom have like big chunks of garlic and they're actually really delicious. It's almost like a flat glass noodle. So this bite I have a chili and big piece of lobster and some noodles. So try that out. Mm. Oh, chili just makes everything better. You can really taste the, the tamale, like the inside part of the the lobster, it gives it like a bitterness, but not overly bitter, like a really earthy flavor. So this must be maybe fourth or fifth dish already. This is a steamed grouper, so which is a massive fish, it's a giant grouper. It's served in sort of like a light broth, and there's a mushroom, and a lot of smell of ginger coming off. There's some big pieces of tofu, and carrots, and a clam. So I'm gonna try a piece of the fish to start off here. Looks like there might be some sort of like a rub or maybe it's seared on the outside of the fish. Oh yeah, and it feels really smooth. This is a big meaty piece. Steamed grouper. Hmm. That's a big piece of fish. A strong ginger flavor. Really strong ginger flavor. And some fish might be so soft it's really like flaky almost. That is like a meaty, almost like a chicken fish. Like that, this is a really dense fish and the broth is like, not too salty, not salty really at all, but strong ginger, definitely. Getting to the end of this soup here, the steamed grouper, I'm gonna try a clam. Mm. Yeah, and I'm gonna chase it with one of these, this is a, a ginkgo bean, or ginkgo nut, I'm not sure. Mm. Oh yeah, it's like really soft, like a, almost like a steamed peanut, and it's a little sweet. This was a good dish, definitely. So this is the seared scallop dish here. This is the scallop, and on top we have some deep fried garlic. That looks amazing. And uh, served on top of an orange, and maybe some like tomatoes under there, lettuce. This is some black beans and cucumber. And then over here, this is a tomato topped with asparagus and a ch uh, candied cherry, and maybe some sort of a cream yogurt maybe. So I'm gonna try the the seared uh, scallop. Yeah, this feels like a thick, plump scallop. Oh wow, that is a big scallop, look at that. Mm. That's really good. There's a batter on the outside, but it's not really crunchy. The crunch comes from the deep fried garlic, and the garlic is really good. Instead, the scallop is actually like a really juicy, tender, tender scallop. Getting a little full, but persevering, and we're gonna eat the next dish, and this is a steamed crab, and this looks awesome. It's served with some sticky rice, and the sticky rice is actually topped with some dried shrimp, maybe dried shrimp, I think. And, oh, this crab, though, this looks awesome. I'm gonna dig in here and grab a piece of meat. Oh yeah, and you can see that, that tamale, all that yellow goodness on the inside. Okay, gonna try this crab out here now. Oh, lost my shrimp. Mm. Mm. The shrimp is like a little crunchy because it's dried. It has like a stronger seafood flavor than the lobster. And there certainly isn't as much meat on the crab, but it's more sweet and like naturally flavorful than the lobster was. Okay, I'm gonna dig into this crab claw here where all the meat is. Oh, oh yeah. 
Oh, oh, crab is so good. Crab is amazing. It's so sweet, and it's it's there's no flavoring. It's it's just sweetness from naturally being a delicious crab. <laughs> okay, this is our seafood hot pot, and it looks really good. There are so many things in here. It looks like this is maybe like a king crab. Some oysters, uh, mushroom, fish cake, clams, tofu, all. tomatoes, and other types of tofu. Looks like a lot of green onions as well, and mushrooms. So I'm gonna try the broth first here. Oh yeah, very light, not salty, no salt maybe, but strong seafood flavor. And you can taste those green onions in there. Yeah, this is good. You can taste also like the mushrooms, sort of like an earthy vegetable flavor. Really good. Okay, I'm gonna try a piece of the king crab. This looks awesome. This is a big piece of the lag, big piece of meat. Oh, yes. That looks amazing. Okay, try that out. Oh. Mm -hmm. Can't have enough crab. That is so good. That is definitely more tender than the last crab. Almost like a stringy, stringy consistency. And it has the flavor of the broth. And oh, yeah, crab. Amazing. We've finished all the main courses and we've come to the dessert and for dessert we're having what is called a sweet soup I guess and it is served with a date and lotus seeds so that's really interesting something I've never tried before. You can see the lotus seeds they so sort of look like chickpeas that's what I thought it was at first so I'll try some of these out. Mm, it smells like maple syrup almost. Mm. Mm. It almost has like a maple syrup taste, like um, sort of syrupy, the, it's cold, and then the, the beans, or the seeds, sorry, kind of just like disintegrate, fall apart in your mouth. They're almost like a chalky, chalky texture. Yeah, that's good, refreshing. We are finished the meal now. That was, I think, nine courses. Everything was delicious, and I'd have to say the best thing I ate was probably the sea cucumber. It was so good, just so smooth. And this was such a luxurious dinner. I want to say thank you to Amanda and Oliver so much. Thank you for taking us here. This hotel is amazing. It is the Royal Hotel Jai. They had our names at the front when we came in and they even put a Canadian flag. Put a Canadian flag up for us just for our visit. It makes me feel like I'm king or something. So thank you again, Oliver and Amanda. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about some of the exotic things that I ate, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos from Taiwan. Thanks for watching.